your mom. When the teacher called her, mom said she already knew I was a bad girl and she was too busy to come and get me. Just send her home. She can walk. As I was packing up my stuff to leave, I was called into the principal's office. Oh no, was I in more trouble? Feeling really nervous, I went to the principal's office and found him beaming at me. Congratulations, Mia. You'll be bumped up a grade because you're a brilliant kid. I was thrilled. This was sure to make mom happy. When I got home and told her, she jumped up from the couch in shock. Oh my God, this is the worst news ever. Am I going to have to buy you new books? I was so disappointed. Just as I was walking out of the room, I heard her say, Mia, you know what? Education means nothing if you're not pretty like your sisters. Ugh, why did she have to be like this? I was moved up a grade and started spending more time at the local library. At least I got some peace and quiet there. One day, I saw a flyer on the board about a monthly chess competition, and I decided to participate. I was easily able to beat my competitor, and I won a small amount of money. Of course, I didn't tell anyone at home about the money I'd won. This was going to be my little secret. One day at the library, an old blind man came up to me. I'd often seen him here before, sitting alone. He smiled at me. Wanna play chess with me, little hero? I laughed and said I'd beat him easily. He simply said, try me. So I played with him, and to my shock, I lost. You're talented, but you need more practice. After several months had passed and we had been playing together daily, the blind man said one day that I was ready. For what? the international competition I've been preparing you for. I'd won more local competitions and had some money saved up. There was no way I was telling mom where I was really going. I told her that dad had contacted me and sent me a ticket to visit him. Whatever. Do you think I care about what you do? I went to the competition with the blind man and a few other competitors from my area. It was a really tough game, but I used all my wits and knowledge and won. And my prize? was $200,000. When I stepped forward to collect my check, the organizers asked me my age, and then they refused to give me my money. They said I needed a legal guardian, and the blind man wasn't even related to me. Despite all my protests, they called my mom and said they'd transfer the money to her. When I got home that evening, mom ran to me and smothered me with hugs and kisses. I knew she was just after my money. She'd made all my favorite things for dinner, and at the end of it, she brought out a huge chocolate cake with candles. But mom, it's not even my birthday. Do I need a reason to celebrate my favorite daughter? Come now, darling. Blow out the candles. My sisters kept glaring.